Hi Texans, I'm Jackson Hansard with the Texan News Service. Good Texans, my name is Lou Williams and I'm, I play guard. Corey Smith Ford. Keandre Gaddy Ford. Nice to meet y'all. Uh, we wanted to bring y'all in for this Meet the Team segment that we've been starting where we've talked to the fishing club and the rodeo people because y'all are having a really good season. We see y'all a lot, but we don't hear from y'all a lot, so we thought this would be good just to let the people know a little more about you and what y'all think of Tarleton and all that. Where are y'all from and how did y'all get here to Tarleton? I'm from Alabama. Uh, I got here from Tarleton. Coach G, he came down and recruited me. He came to one of my uh, games and I uh, signed with him the next day. Yeah, I had uh, plenty of offers from like D2s and a couple D1s, but I felt like I always wanted to go to Texas, so I just came with G. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm from uh, Utica, Mississippi. You know, I really don't know how I got here, but you know, G came down and recruited me when I was JUCO. You know, it took me a while and I weighed out my options and like, I felt like this was the best decision and this was best for me and my family. So I just signed. Uh, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Um, I used to go to an uh, NAI school and one of the assistant coaches from last year recruited me. That's how I got here. How did y'all get into basketball? Were y'all always playing multi-sport kids? Did your parents or other family members influence you? Kind of your role models, anything like that? Yeah, I've been playing uh, basketball since I was like three years old. My whole family plays, so it runs in the family. Yeah, same for me. I've been uh, playing basketball as far as I can remember. You know, I have um, an older brother that played. He kind of influenced me to play, and my mom also played. So it was just like kind of always in the family. Uh, I was kind of a late bloomer with, with basketball. Um, I used to play football when I was younger, football and baseball. So, yeah, I didn't start basketball until like the 10th grade. I used to play shortstop when I used to play baseball, and then um, – like first, second base, and then football. He's played middle linebacker, outside linebacker. Oh, uh, the recruiting process for with me for me was like it was kind of like hectic. You know, a lot of people were calling as far as like D twos, even D ones. You know, it was a couple schools in the WAC also that wanted me, but you know, G was the only coach that really just drove down to see me. So like I just committed when he drove down because he showed me that you know the respect level. I didn't have that many offers. I probably had you know couple NAIAs and uh, some D2s, but I didn't have that many offers. It's my only D Division One offer, so. With you two not being from Texas, you said you've always wanted to come play in Texas. How have y'all liked being in Texas so far compared to Alabama and Mississippi? You know, ain't nothing like home, but it's been it's been good. Like, I like, I, I like it really well. Um, it's been a change, but I've adapted to it really quickly, so. It's been um, a great experience for me, you know, being from a small town in Mississippi. Like he said, you know, you got to have the ability to adapt to change, and I feel like I've adapted, you know, very good, you know, with the people around me and my teammates. They've helped me adapt. Yeah, I probably play, like, uh, video games a lot. You know, I'd be on, on college, so, yeah. Yeah. All right, is everyone, like, real close, you would say, because y'all are together a lot? Yeah. Uh, do y'all have any specific, like, pregame routine ritual to kind of – keep you in track to keep you um, on a routine to keep you ready uh, before games? For me, yeah, I listen to like the same playlist before the game. Mm -hmm. What's on that playlist? Uh, a little, little baby, some young boy, some big X to plug. For me, um, I just feel like I have to do everything at like the same time. It's like mm -hmm. a home game, like I have to eat at like 3 o'clock, I have to be done at 3.15, 3.20, I have to be laying down. At three. Like, I have to do everything on the ritual. Like, I'm real big on, like, superstition when it comes to basketball. You know, like, so if I feel like if I did this and, like, I had 24 the first half, so the next away game, I feel like I want to do the same, you know, things to feel like I play good. Uh, I pretty much do the same thing for every game, you know, just trying to lock in before the games, uh, listen to, you know, some hype songs and uh, – just get ready for the game. Same stretches, stuff like that. I like, uh, like Gunna, Meek Mill. Like with me, they make fun of me a lot because like I don't really be listening to music. Like, are you different from them? Yeah, like I just be like, I, I could just, I can just sit in silence, like yeah. try to like calm myself, this, that. So I don't really have no favorite artist. Like I could just sit there in silence, try to lock in. Yeah. But they always loud and want to listen to music. My favorite <laughs> artist definitely Lil Baby. They always annoy me. Like just, I'm the old man of the group. Yeah, yeah, like you're just the old man. The old man. <laughs> how has it been? How what's the difference you've seen between Coach Jones and Billy since he's told me he's kind of more of a player's coach? 
Yeah, he and really he's is. Kinda, he's getting into his, you know, rhythm. Yeah, he really is. Like, um, you can tell, like on the court, like he feels like he 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 want he needs to be playing. Mm -hmm. Like his frustrations, like you can tell, like, but like as far as playing for him, it's been good. I mean, we've been winning, so I don't see I don't really see nothing wrong with it. It's been great. Uh, I just feel like he got a lot of passion for the game, so you know, uh, just seeing that passion, in, you know. Well, within you know the coach and him just stepping in and stepping up, uh, it's been great. And we, I mean, like he said, we're winning, so it's great. I mean, yeah, in a way, because you know, like, but it, we we like playing like that anyway, because you know, like, as long as the ball moving, can't no defense keep up with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like when we move it, it finds the right hands, whether it's Lou, me, Keandre, Devin. Emmanuel, anybody, you know, if the ball moving, we play like a team, I feel like we have a good chance of winning, and that's what we've been doing. Everybody on the floor can score the ball, so, in my opinion. So, like, it, it, don't, it don't matter who hands it in, so. We got a lot of chemistry as a team. You know, we built that in the summer, and, like, coming in, we all, we all know what it, each other is capable of, so we all, you know, are on one page. How successful have you, have you think, do you think that's been? Um, I think it's been very successful, you know, when you got a player like Keandre down there who can score, pass out, and he just plays hard, you know, just give it to him and move, you know. I feel like I have a lot of confidence in him that he'll make the right decision, you know, even with Lou, you know, when you have a smaller guard on him, you know, I have the, the, the trust in him to just throw him the ball. And honestly, half of the time when I throw him the ball, I just get back on defense because I know they're going to score the ball. No, I would agree with that, everything you just said. Um, Jacor can also score the ball at all three levels. Uh, Keandre can score the ball. Um, but I feel like we would have had more success if we hit more shots this season. Um, hit more shots? Yeah. Like they were saying, everybody's talented. And uh, like, like I was saying before, the chemistry and the trust with the ball, you know, I trust them with the ball. And that goes a long way, so. You know, when we played pickup this summer, you know, I, I honestly did stuff like that this summer, just shooting crazy shots, you know, just, you know, half of the time they asked me why did I shoot it, but like when I made the shot at ACU, I told them, I was like, that's why I shoot the shots in the summer, like, because I feel like it's just, you know, it's a natural instinct. But don't get me wrong, like, I wouldn't mind for one of them to have the ball in the clutch situation neither, you know, like sometimes I tell Lou, like, you need to get the ball or Keandre, like, hey, call for the ball. You know, I don't want to be the one that's always having to make those shots. How have y'all enjoyed playing the bigger schools such as Baylor and UCF, where y'all have played against people that are in the NBA now. They've been drafted. So how does that feel against that kind of competition? For me, it's just motivation. I feel like playing against them, if I'm on that same level, I can get there as well. You know, it's been a great experience. You know, you like, um, like in high school, like you get home on, on Saturdays, you'll click on the TV and you see like a Tennessee or a Baylor playing. You know, it just yeah. felt like a surreal moment to actually you know, be in those games and playing against those guys. Yeah, I mean, it was a great, you know, moment for me, especially my family, like, you know, have my mom be able to watch that, you know, that's some, something she always dreamed of. You know, my little brother looks up to me, so it was a great experience, you know, and I really appreciate it. What did y'all work on and kind of shine in last year to get the opportunity to stay and get increased minutes in production with all the turnover from last year's roster to this year? I feel like, you know, I feel like us three, deciding to stay, you know, I feel like the coaching staff, you know, they trusted us even more because, like, with all those guys leaving, um, we were the three to just say, you know, what, we're going to stay and we're going to try to, you know, work this out with the team that whoever the coaches bring in, you know, we're going to work with those guys, be the leader. You know, I feel like they're, we built their trust even more, and that's showing this season because they're, like, trusting us on the court, and even our teammates are trusting us. Yeah, this summer, uh, for us, really, we just really bought in, and at the same time, we just didn't buy in for ourselves. We bought everybody who came in along with us, and that really just helped us along the season. Very successful season so far. What shells go for the rest of the season? Win away championship. Win away. Mm -hmm. It was a great experience. You know, it's been the first time for the school, you know, since the reclassification that we made it. You know, like he said, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, but this year hopefully that'll change and we can bring the championship back. What's something y'all think is like very important or has been kind of the key to the success this season? Not getting too high and not getting too low. You know, like right now, we went won, what, six in a row. You know, we were still working the same as when we lost back to back. You know, like you can't get too high, you can't get too low. Yeah. For me, I would say like just mentally preparation and like keeping everybody like on board and, you know, doing the 
doing the exact thing, same thing that it should be doing at the exact same time it should be doing. Yep, uh, I'm agreeing with Lou. Uh, just having everyone bought in and working hard every day. You know, it's an everyday process. So you know, continue to work every day and understand what our goal is. What can we expect Thursday against GCU? I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Change the standings a little bit. Yeah.